Hi everybody, this is just a quick video showing you four exercises to help develop your flexibility in your wrist to help you make a nicer sound and do smoother bow changes on the double bass. Okay, so the first thing is, very simple, you get a pencil and you just hold it and you just flop your wrist about. So this is one of the things that's unusual about playing a string instrument is that you have to have your fingers firm enough to hold the object but your wrist needs to be completely free and loose. So it's better to do it with a pencil when you're first learning to do this so you don't drop your expensive bow. But there you are. So once you've done that with your pencil, then you can do it with the bow. So just flopping around, getting your wrist nice and loose while still managing to hold on to the bow. So that's the first exercise. Second exercise, very similar, but now we're going to try and keep the stick of the bow horizontal the whole time. And we're going to go for a really full range of movement. Look, I can get nearly 180 degrees. You might not be able to do quite so much as that when you first do it, but gradually you'll be able to, if you keep working on this exercise, you'll be able to extend that movement. So look, there we are, the hair towards you, the hair away as we change between these two positions. Good, so that's the second exercise. Develop, develop your range of movement in the wrist. The third exercise. Now, this one, we're going to use this thumb. Now, the thumb should be nice and flexible. Look, so I can bend the thumb by different amounts and the hair moves from side to side. And so we can do that horizontally as well. So that the hair's coming towards me and then back to, to facing the floor. So now the third exercise is quite hard. So what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did before, but we're going to adjust with the thumb the whole time. So the hair is always pointing down. Now that's quite difficult. So the wrist, the forearms still, the wrist is doing all the work. I need to do a bit higher so you can stay on the screen. And the hair stays pointed towards the crown. So that's the third exercise. You might have to do that for a while before you get good at it. The fourth exercise. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to hold our fingers around here, around the tip of the bow. And now we're going to do exactly what we were doing before. But the stick is going to stay still. And the wrist is going up and down behind the stick. Can you see that? So the wrist is nice and flexible. We've got that full range of move movement. The thumb is adjusting each time as I go down, up, up and down. And then if we just change the angle at which the hand approaches the bow, so it's a little bit like this, and then that movement will start taking us backwards and forwards with the bow. And if you do that, you'll get beautiful smooth bow changes and you'll make a much nicer sound on the double bass. So that's it for this video. Remember to take your time, spend a couple of weeks doing each exercise before moving on to the next one. You'll take a lifetime to master them all. If you've enjoyed the video, please click like and subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think of this new sort of quick mini lesson. Bye for now.